fucking team technician. No. Come on. You know what this is? It's my gun rack. Smith is a fantastic bat. That guy, that guy has eye, sees the ball to the bat, follows through every time. That guy has got a mechanical swing that is a chop notch. Probably the best mechanical swing on the team. Well, Mike Smith is a cool motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta say. Oh yeah, Mike Smith. He's got a hell of a glove. Uh, plays angry. I like that. Mike, uh, Mike for, for, uh, for an old man, for a guy that's uh, about to collect Social Security soon. Uh, oh, Mike. He's, been, uh, he's been doing really good this year. Oh! Oh, oh no, it's not too. <laughs> Mike Smith, man, he's good. He's hard. He, he puts out all this effort in there, and he uh, he's soft-spoken, but he produces on the field. So. I am Ray Rivas. I am shortstop and third base supreme. What's his name? Ray? Big guy, I call him Stickum. The guy got hit in it. Is that Ray? Yeah, Ray has been sucking it up. You know, we uh. Oh, I saw Ray strike out twice. Now I'm looking around. I'm like, Dude, this wasn't Ray all through the spring when we practiced. This guy was crushing every pitch. And then afterwards, Darren told me he's got that. He's got like a torn muscle in his shoulder. Definitely. I know you're struggling with that damn pop up to fucking second base right now, Ray. But I swear to God, stop thinking about it. And every time you hit one in the air, you owe me 20 push-ups. Well, because the thing is, he, he has his idea of how he wants to play baseball. And, uh, and he's obviously has more experience than me. Anthony? I think me and Anthony got this telekinesis. We'd be able to contact and talk to each other without actually saying words. Well, the guy bumps cigarettes off me like a motherfucker. <laughs> and I love Anthony because he's always... He's the last guy you ever hear... Complaining. He's hitting really well. You know, he's got the world's smallest strike zone. Um, I call him Tone. You know, he's got uh, he's like a fucking uh, crab on the shoreline, side to side, baby, side to side. Scattle, scattle. He was a creeper. He, he snuck all the way up to the top of the lineup. He, uh, I think, fielded great. He uh, performed at bat every time. You know, great on base, great hits, clutch hitter, great pitcher, great pitcher, you know. We needed Anthony. Anthony was a clutch player for us this season. Just kidding. Johnny Sacco, left field. Well, Johnny goddamn mustache, he is a fucking motherfucker, dude. Like, And uh, mustache is great on all facets. He's, he's like... Uh, the esprit de corps of the whole team, without a doubt. He chants afterwards, he's... He just pretends. Holler! <laughs> We're the Lovers! We're the Lovers! We're the Lovers! I'm afraid of Americans. I'm afraid of the Lovers. <laughs> uh, Johnny shows a lot of hustle, a lot of uh, heart, uh, a lot of lack of brains on these dives that he makes for the ball. Keith Darge. I play second base and catcher, and I got a lot of lights. Yeah, Keith did good. Uh, Keith pulled his weight a lot more than I thought he was. You know, Keith. Uh, Considering he's almost 50. Yeah, he's an old man. He's you know, he's also you know a little a little brittle. He's old ass. I'm surprised. He surprised me too. He surprised me that he hasn't uh, had to be wheeled off the field yet on a stretcher. You know. 
I don't, you know what? Keith is the most solid, like, effort. I think that's 100% effort every single time, and usually a little more. And he's, he'll play anywhere you go. I mean, Keith, is, he's coming around the last couple games. I think he had a, a monster doubleheader. Uh, Steven Gonzalez, and I'll play anywhere you put me. That's right. That's right. Uh, Steven, he's uh, getting a little drunk at the game. Yeah, right? that little hippie, uh, you know, he likes to smoke some things. Uh, some happen to be cigarettes, some happen to be not cigarettes. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's made some good plays in the outfield, surprised us in right field, you know, he uh, likes partaking in Grandpa's little cough medicine sometimes, but that's alright, he, uh, he hustles out there in the outfield and uh, strikes out too goddamn much for my uh, own liking, but, I mean, Steven is, he's batted like shit, but he's caught some, he's played a great fucking right field, I mean. It's weird, he doesn't have the most orthodox form of catching, but uh, he just sticks his hand out right when the ball's about to hit him in the face, and it, and it just sticks in his glove. So you think Steven's drinking too much at the games? Can you repeat the question? Anybody who drinks at all at the games drinks too much beer. You shouldn't be drinking at all, period. It does not make you play better. No, not at all. I think I'm going to begin to drink a lot more at the games. You know, I think that's I think that's actually what it's about, is just having a fun time. How you doing? My name is Rory Morrow, and I mostly play first base and sometimes short center. And I bat anywhere from third to fifth. Uh, Rory, nice guy, really tall, redhead, ginger. Uh, the big red machine, as we call him, he uh, he does pretty well. Uh, I mean, Rory's obviously, he's, he's a stud, man. I mean, he's like a, he's an anchor of the team. Rory's problem is he thinks he's playing golf. Marijuana, I'm smoking <laughs> it. And everything he hits is up in the air. You gotta hit line drive. That's how you that's how you play baseball. Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you next game, you're probably gonna see one, maybe two home runs from Rory. It's coming. Rory's bat it just woke up tonight, and that's probably the biggest bat on the team in my opinion right now. The Alex, we're, he's, he, Alex is, um, very funny, he is very tall, he's very, Alex, yeah, I mean, what can you say? Well, he's a smart player, he knows he's not that great, I mean, he, he can catch a ball, he can hit an easy one. Alright, Brian Marty, my nick, my, I like my nickname, Bam. That's my middle initials, Brian Evan Marty. Bam, I like Bam. Okay, what, what, what do you want to know? Oh, uh, you know, uh, there's rumors that you know they murdered a few families back in the days and stuff. And uh, you know, didn't, I, I over. Did you kind of start those rumors? No, uh, no, there was somebody else. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, I double lock my doors. I have a deadbolt now. I would. I am glad that he is on my team and that I am not against him. I, I collect. I got all kinds of skulls. No oh, shit. That guy's got wheels, and I never thought that. And then he broke his neck, and then he kept playing. The the the, the best part of the season for me was the Rory Bryan collision. Like that made it for when him and fucking Rory crashed straight into each other, and like, I mean, I was playing second base. And I can see them running towards each other, and everyone in the infield is yelling, call it, call it, call it, and nobody called it, and they ran into it, and Axe Murderer fucking caught it, like, epically, like, Leap caught it, Rory smashes him in the side, and he's still... Really, just here, you know, in my, in my, you don't have my mind, it's just, I dropped that, I had the fucking ball in my fucking hands. Damn! I think Axe Murderer's got a lot of heart. He's probably the guy that takes the, this game the most seriously, even more than Darren and Jordan. But Jordan's awesome in the center field. A couple great plays today. Awesome. Awesome. And Jordan, I mean, it's like every... He's fucking Jordan. you got to love Jordan. Today, but Jordan hasn't found his groove yet. I mean, look at how good he hit in those practices. He, he could crush every one. And... Uh, I think it gets I think it gets uh, overzealous at that play because he wants it so bad. He performs. He's a goddamn all-star outfielder. He 
fucking catch his balls like motherfucker, but... Oh, nice wheels. And it, he's got to be the flyest dressed of all of us out there for sure, too. Guy looks smooth. Well, ah, the, the, Jordan the Greek. Yes. Yeah, he does have some wheels. He's, uh, he's a very fast man. Yeah, I heard that started in the hills of Greece. Uh, they used to roll boulders down the mountains, and he used to have to run from the boulders uh, to the bottom of the hill. <laughs> Darren, uh, head to head. But they call themselves, what Darren say? He called them captains. Sorry, captains. What the fuck is captains, man? There's got to be a coach. There are captains. What is a captain? Cap Darren, he's hitting 556. I know you put it on Facebook. <laughs> you put it on Facebook, dude. I know what he's hitting. <laughs> Darren, he's he's a great he's a great player. He's a pretty good captain. He's a better player than captain. Just specifying. And Thank you. Oh, Darren's pretty good. He thinks he's a lot better than he really is. He, he'll tell you how great he is every time you play. You know, everybody did good. In my eyes, everybody at a certain point of the season did something good. You know what I'm saying? Made a good play. And, you know, but also everybody fucked up. You know, once. At least once this season. You know, but, you know. We suck, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>